We were like sitting ducks, you know, just like waiting for it. Erica knew that once one of her four kids got sick, the others would too. Her daughter Audrey got hit the hardest. And yeah, hers turned into RSV. Like, um, so she had it the worst out of everyone, but it's just the congestion. Uh, the cough, the fever. Children's hospitals around the country, including Nemours Children's Hospital in Delaware, are filling up quickly with a potential triple demic of RSV, flu, and COVID. RSV is the big driver right now, and doctors are dealing with this typically common respiratory virus in larger numbers and way earlier in the season than usual. Nemours Chief of Primary Care Pediatrics says while it was necessary, changing our lifestyle during the pandemic might have caused this. We don't know all of the reasons why this is happening right now, but certainly the impact of the COVID pandemic and our responses to it, like distancing and masking and hand washing, have changed the seasonal patterns of typical viruses too. To be really clear, this is not a Delaware specific problem. The Morris Children's Hospital, Delaware sits right near the Pennsylvania line and obviously not far from New Jersey. So they get kids from all over the region who need to come here for their services. Dr. Miller says RSV becomes a common cold in older kids, but it can lead to bigger problems in infants and toddlers, tiny little airways. If you notice a problem, call your pediatrician or try a telehealth meeting online. More serious cases, experts say go to your local ER. The, the main reasons to seek medical attention with RSV are either because it's causing labored breathing or because it's causing dehydration. Dr. Miller says there's no vaccine for RSV, but he does definitely recommend flu shots and COVID vaccines for kids who qualify. I'm concerned that bad now does mean that our winter is going to be even worse. Children's hospitals shouldn't be this crowded right now, so let's hope COVID and flu don't start catching up quickly with RSV. <clears throat> In North Wilmington, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.